This video shows me reassembling the 9B transformer. While I do that, I will tell you what happened with the circuit breaker. Here are some pictures I took of it before the restoration. You can see the general design of its operation. The right side of the bakelite frame is gone. You can see here that a screw is holding the stack of metal strips together, which someone over tightened and over time caused fractures in the brittle bakelite. Turns out, Super glue is not strong enough to hold the joints together and after assembling it for the first time and putting the screw back in, the joints split apart. So I made a reinforcement band to hold the Bakelite frame together, this time ensuring that it will never come apart. You can see in this picture how I glued and screwed the band to the Bakelite. Going back to the first picture, the other problem with this breaker is that the carbon contacts would not close all the way, so the breaker was permanently tripped. In the last video, I opened up my 8B transformer and inspected the breaker on that one, which operates correctly. Then I matched the metal strips as close as I could and then tested it to ensure the gap opened when tripped and closed all the way when reset. Now the circuit breaker is reinstalled in the frame and I resoldered all the wires in place. I also riveted the two halves of the frame together. I replaced the power cord and soldered it in place. The next thing to do is to slide the transformer back in the case and put all the components back on. The case was dirty, so I washed it at the sink and then cleaned off some of the rust. I lightly coated it with WD-40 to prevent it from rusting further and then wiped it dry. I polished all the screws with a wire brush in my Dremel, and also polished the lens holder for the pilot lights. The top plate is nickel plated I believe, and it is tarnished. I do not have a way to replate it, so I cleaned it the best that I could and left it original and did the same for the control handles. I am not making a shelf queen, I intend to use this on my layout. Now, I think it's time to take this over to my new control panel for the American Flyer layout and hook it up. This will power the inner loop of the layout and will also power the accessories. I also have it wired so that I can switch the outer loop between AC power from the 9B or rectified DC power from the 8B. Right now, I will use the 9B for both. On the inside loop, I will test it with my 5-digit Baldwin, and the outside loop will be running my 287 CNW steam locomotive. If you enjoyed this restoration series, please like the video and consider subscribing. There are always more projects like this coming, as well as more American Flyer engine restoration projects and some HO scale videos too. So until next time, thank you for watching.